corruption not only reduces Singaporeans' confidence in the government, but also has far-reaching consequences for the nation. An example of such a case is the story of Tae Kok Yong, a public officer whose bright future was derailed by corruption and whose actions put a nation at risk. Tae Kok Yong was a chief procurement officer in a government agency when he became addicted to gambling. He soon found himself deep in debt of about $100,000 and began borrowing heavily from various people, including his colleague Lim Ameng. One day, Lim introduced Tay to Bernard Ko, managing director of Fire Alarms Limited. Over drinks, Tay revealed to Ko that he is a procurement officer and could help him secure contracts with his agency. The opportunity to do so soon arose when Tay was tasked to procure fire alarm systems for his agency's new visitor center. Tay would subsequently meet with Ko on multiple occasions to receive large sums of money in exchange for information that gave Fire Alarms Limited a huge advantage when bidding for contracts. Fire Alarms Limited was eventually awarded the contract to supply fire alarm systems to Tay's agency. However, despite the requirements stated in the contract, the company supplied substandard products that did not comply with the standard requirements and the prerequisites of the fire safety certification. This led to a tragedy just one year later, when the fire alarms failed to trigger during the breakout of a fire at the visitor center. The arrival and response of firefighters was thus delayed, and the incident left one dead and a dozen people injured.